Hey guys, this is John. I'm playing Isaiah Daniel in a one-minute game on chess.com. First game of the session, I'm going to play 10 games. I've got the uh, old creaky mouse back, unfortunately, for this particular game. I didn't feel completely comfortable with the Logitech uh, as, I as I dropped this pawn. Didn't feel completely comfortable with that yet. So I'm back to this one. Not too happy about it, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, let's play bishop c5. Down a couple pawns here. Maybe I can make something happen. Probably not dropping that pawn though. Okay, um, let's take. Yeah, probably gonna lose this one as well soon. So looking for counterplay. I played this guy in Blitz the other day. Pretty strong player for an untitled account. I think he's 2700 Blitz. Higher than me, I think actually. Uh, maybe 2750, 2600. Okay, got to throw the F-pawn up the board, see what happens. I'm also behind on the clock here. So let's do this, giving away more pawns. And I'm already down so many pawns, I've hit critical mass. So just got to pray that something works out. I'd love to get his light square bishop. I don't think he's going to give it to me, but if he could trade that light square bishop, I'd have some chances. He's probably going to put it back on G2. Uh, okay, well, I'll take that. I mean, it's not perfect, but... Some sort of pieces coming after his king. Okay, and I'm actually up on the clock now, surprisingly. Um, let's go here. I'm guarding h8 for the time being. So handy. Okay, now I'm threatening knight h4, and I might be able to escape, perhaps. Oh, okay, he finds a good defense there. But I've got rook h3 coming. Also good defense by him. Okay, let's take that. Mm, didn't mean to do that one, that's for sure. Problem here is he has a lot of checks. Not a lot of time, though. Oh, draw by repetition. Wow, okay, I didn't see that coming. Let's continue playing him. <laughs> that was a eventful one. Got to remember to chalk up that score. Okay, uh, let's take... Play bishop g5. Yeah, I made up some time there. Oh, knight g8. Wow. Okay, was not expecting that move. <laughs> he got me on that one. All right, well, let's make it sloppy again. If you guys haven't noticed, these are the least instructive videos that I produce. But it's fun to play bullet every once in a while. I know these videos don't get as many views, and there's definitely a certain percentage of my viewers who are not going to watch them. But hey, I appreciate it if you do. Uh, let's give a check. And, I don't know, throw this pawn forward. Try to create some threats. Uh, let's take, I guess. Go here. Yeah, this is not a good position because he can easily, easily deal with my threats. And his king is very safe. So, oh, okay, he can trade there. Yeah, I'm going to resign this one. Offer a rematch, though. I'm actually higher rated in bullet than him, so that's interesting. Because like I said, he has me in the blitz category. Okay, let's go here. Pull this back. And he played that knight to g8 move. That was uh, not a great move, but I got to keep that in mind that he could be sneaky like that. Kids play bishop e6, go c6. I want to go d5 after this. Yeah, pawn d5, take over the center. Maybe e4. e4 seems good. Tank. His bishop's out of the game. He's got some awkward knights here. That knight on c3 is hanging. So he's got to be very careful now. This is probably just a bad position for him. He can't really move that knight. Too many safe squares. Let's come in. Bishop c4 was also strong. I probably should have played that. Uh, let's take that, though. Okay. Take that. Looking for bishop d4. If I can. Mm -hmm. Let's take and give a check. I will go take that. Okay, go here. That's a double attack on his knights. Let's just trade. Mm, go g4.
Awkward situation here. My rook gets out, actually. I don't think he meant to allow that. I'm not going to take that yet. I have his check on h5. Those knights, man, they can just create threats out of nowhere. Always. Let's move this rook very far away. Right? Rook b2 coming up. Okay, that should be enough. Enough to win. Screen capture is good. All right. Got into this match so fast. I wasn't sure if it was capturing correctly. All right. Let's see if he wants to play. Again. He does. Okay. Let's play e4 this game. Takes a little while to work into a bullet match. I've had another extremely busy day. So another reason to make a bullet video. Just kind of blowing off some steam. Making sure I... Uh, can throw around some chess pieces in a fun way every once in a while, too. Okay, let's go queen d2. Go here, typical expansion stuff. He has the bishop pair. Might stick his bishop on d3 at some moment. Um, let's play d5, make this complicated. I might even sack the exchange if he plays his knight in. Yeah, let's sack the exchange. I don't like how oppressive that knight is there. And let's go b3. If he moves... Queen a5, I'm thinking bishop here. Try to trade off one of the defenders. Or one of the... Okay, he traded off that pawn. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, this is not looking great. Try to confuse. Let's go here. Uh, queen takes c4. Looks pretty good. I can just take... Okay, lost that one pretty handily. Right back in the action. He likes these flank systems as white. I usually have no trouble really equalizing against these. Playing for an advantage is can be tough sometimes. I might have to go watch Chess Fundamentals number one because I'm hanging some pieces this session already. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Um, let's play this. Maybe I can go g6 or a bishop f5 at some point in the future. Take. Yeah, let's go here. Looks awkward for him. Take. I'm going to keep my knight. Again, knight's a very valuable blitz piece. Bishop g5. Uh, let's take that and play knight c5. Long term, I want to attack that pawn on e3. Let's go h5, try to weaken him a little bit. Hmm. Not going to trade. Just have so many nice places I can put my pieces. Knight c2 is a threat now. For an exchange, I will give up a... Uh... Oh, he takes that one, but I can just take here. My queen's defending. Okay, so we win that one. Rematch. Play g3, bishop g2, see what he does against his own system. Okay, we'll go b3, bishop b2. Knight e5. Maybe king h1, f4. Be a common plan here. Push on the, on the king side eventually. Okay, take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think trying for f5 makes sense here. So I'm going to do this. Look for f5. Money six twice. Uh, let's play f6. I might play g5. g5 could be a good move, but then I can move my bishop. It does that. Okay. Uh, let's play this. I haven't calculated this move, but it looks interesting. It looks like it's going to put him under a great deal of pressure. The initiative is even more important in bullet than it is in blitz. Important to be said. I'm going to protect this e5 pawn, make him do something with that bishop. Okay, he actually goes there. Um, let's push this. Okay, um, let's go here. Block. 
take. Now, the thing is, he probably won't take that pawn. Double attack. Let's go here. This knight's coming in. All right. I take, can take d3. Let's go here. I'm up a lot on the clock now. I think he's just not going to make it on the clock. Oh, he will if I play too slow. Oh, I got okay. <laughs> I hung a lot of pieces there at the end, but it worked out in the end. So six games in. Yeah, you also tend to get engaged in matches more in bullet as opposed to blitz, because the games just obviously come at you so fast. Yeah, he's trying to catch me with pre moves H3. Uh, let's play bishop E4. Um, let's take. I think I'm going to Fianchetto my bishop here, keep his knight out of f5. Let's go queen here. If he puts a rook on d1, I think I can play knight b6, because if he takes d8 at the end... Oh no, he's taking with check. So I might just take g5 at that point. Yeah, I have to take g5. At least he burned a little time thinking about that. Uh, okay, let's take. Mess up his structure. And how am I going to attack here? Let's play this to start. He's going to go take a7. I bet no. Okay. All right, so down material. Can't take c6, it's important. Uh, let's try to set another trap. If he takes, I have 93. Mm, let's take here, I'm threatening 93. Yeah, tricky position. Uh, can I do this? I think I actually can. Oh, I, his knight was just hanging too. Definitely should have taken that. This is fancy though. If he takes, I take with the bishop. This might work as well. Take. Somehow this worked out mating ideas uh let's take let's play check let's check again yeah he has no time okay didn't find a mate there at the end but still worked out uh let's play knight f3 again this one oops didn't mean to play d3 i meant to play c4 there actually okay this position worked out all right the first time. Let's play a3 again. He seems to be in favor of repeating openings. So we'll do that. Let's play f4. Land this knight here. a4 looks handy. Um, let's just hide the king. Mm, that's a problematic move. Yeah, he's hitting these weaknesses pretty nicely. Uh, let's sack something. <laughs> We're going to sack the exchange plus pawn. Get rid of his bishop. Ah, oh, this is hanging. Man, again, hanging pieces, guys. Need to watch that chess fundamentals. <laughs> okay. Queen here looks pretty strong. Barely keeping this together. Probably going to be losing something soon. Um, yeah, that probably does it. Queen takes d5. Rook takes instead, okay. Still playing a little bit, but I can resign here at any moment. I think I will. All right, lost that one. Okay, I'm playing that f6 this time. So exchange slav type position. Yeah, black is completely fine here. This is totally okay. Let's castle. Mm, let's play knight a5. Mm, 
Hmm. Guess I'll take that. Let's play this rook over. Bring this in. Mm, yeah, that wasn't so successful what I just did. Just allowed him in for no reason. Okay, now I might be a little bit worse. But I'll try to play actively still. Look to create some issues for him. Try to go B4 next move, I suppose. Okay. Because here I can check. Hmm. A knight here. Ugh. Lose the exchange. If I move the rookie at 97, so couldn't do anything there. Yeah, this is no good. Try to break through somehow now. Oops. Hmm. Try to get behind this rook if I can. Guess I threaten check, but it probably won't matter. I do have a knight, but it won't matter. My knight's hanging. Yeah. Okay. Resign. All right, this one's going to be for all the marbles, guys. It's an even match so far. Making it even 10. Just don't hang pieces, John. <laughs> that would be helpful. Uh, all right, didn't play the best line here. He has a bishop pair, but the position's fine otherwise, I'd say. F5, I'm going to play C5. Knight C4, knight D6 ideas. Um, let's go, let's go C4. And I guess I'll take. Need to play a little bit faster. Hmm, take, F3, try to open the center. Uh, I can take here. Didn't take it. Not sure about this position. Definitely a bit passive here. Try for some activity. Try to get a rook to the seventh rank. Uh, this knight's hanging. He might have a bishop discovery like that. Okay, let's take a tween move. Might just want to take with his king. Yeah. Um, let's go here. Go after that guy. Okay, take. Oh, I meant to check him there. Whoops. <laughs> Double rook position but I'm up on the clock. Oh, draw. I did it again. I blundered into the repetition. How is that zero mistake, zero blunder, zero missed wins? Absolutely no way. <laughs> no way. Okay. All right. Uh, draw. We Oh, we got to break the tie. Okay. We can't end on a tie, right? Even though a draw is a normal result in chess. Yeah, I, I started moving my king back and forth, and by the time I realized it might be a repetition, uh, it was already a draw. Okay, so tiebreaker game. Mm. Very annoying what he's doing here. Position's still solid. Okay, that's interesting that he went for this. Play a6. I got the two minors. So always chances with the minor pieces. Let's play
play this in. Mm -hmm. I want to take e2. I'm not actually threatening his knight, though. Um, play h5 next, I suppose. Where's his knight going? Kind of hard for him. Let's go here. Confusing position. He goes here. Okay. Man, this is like hard to find a move, and I just blundered. Oh, and he blundered too. Ah, still don't know what's going on here. This is really, really weird. Ah, uh, <laughs> playing this awful. Just not sure what to do. Trying to create some threats, but... Okay. <laughs> yep, no time at the end. That was very tricky. I hung my knight at one moment, knight c1. He was moving his a-pawn down the board, and uh, I couldn't figure out what to do about that because I had two extra minor pieces, but my knight was sort of cut off from, from being able to defend, and so were these pieces. In hindsight, that looks like a pretty good move. Although even there, he can play a6, knight takes b8, and then a7. Rook takes b7, a8 equals queen. So, all right. The rubber match was a victory for Isaiah Daniel. Yeah, tough opponent. But that was a fun little match there. 11 games. Hope you guys liked it. Some serious blunders all around. I still don't believe that zero mistakes, zero blunders, zero must wins from the last game. But you never know. All right. Thanks guys for watching as always, and I'll be back again tomorrow with a more instructive video. All right, bye guys.